Indonesia has launched Southeast Asia's first high-speed railway. It will connect the capital Jakarta and Bandung in West Java, cutting travel time to 45 minutes from the current three hours. Now, the train has been named WUSH, which translates to saving time, optimal operation and a reliable system. Indonesian President Joko Widodo inaugurated the high-speed rail this morning. The project is part of China's Belt and Road Infrastructure Initiative and has been largely funded by Chinese state-owned firms. It is operated by a joint venture of Indonesian state-owned enterprises and Chinese railroad companies. The project was supposed to cost less than 5 billion U.S. dollars and be operational by 2019. But delays due to construction issues and the COVID-19 pandemic saw costs spike to more than 7 billion dollars. The Indonesian government is also looking to extend the 142-kilometer rail line. It is planning phase two of the high-speed train by stretching the line to Surabaya in East Java, some 700 kilometers from Jakarta in a bit to balance efficiency and profitability. And Saiful Bahari Ismail tells us the significance of the high-speed train project. The train is expected to be a game changer in mass transportation industry in Indonesia. This follows other developments in the country like the MRT and the LRT. Now, the country needs such mass transportation to move people and goods across various parts of the country in an efficient and effective manner. The high-speed train service is expected to boost the economy of the areas around the four stations. Businesses are expected to boom and real estate prices are expected to go up as well. We expect the ticket prices to be announced today. The prices are determined by a survey done based on commuters' uh, commuters' willingness to pay. Earlier, it has been reported that tickets could be priced between 200,000 and 350,000 rupiah, or th that's about 16 and 22 US dollars. Indonesia's transport ministry said that it has issued the operation license for the Jakarta Bandung high speed train. The ministry said that with the operation license, the train has fulfilled all aspects of its operations. These include safety aspects as well as operations in the train stations. This means that the train can begin conducting commercial operations. Authorities are also trying to integrate the high-speed train service with other modes of transportation like the light rail transit or LRT so that commuters will have a more seamless travel experience. Now, commuters are very excited about the high-speed train and many want to try getting a ride on it. The train operator started free trials beginning on 18th September to entice people to try out the train. The operator has allocated about 500 tickets each day and the response has been very good with tickets sold out each day. Now, the challenge for the train operator is how to attract ridership when the novelty of the high-speed train wears out, how to entice commuters using the normal train and by road to shift their preferences and use the high-speed train instead. That is why the price of the tickets needs to be right. There also needs to be good connectivity between the high-speed train stations and the rest of other transport modes like LRT, LRT, feeder buses and also taxis.